Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I load my kayak and gear in my truck and uh, show you a couple different things that I, I've added uh, to make it a little easier for the loading and offloading uh, that may help you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. I got a dedicated fishing truck So I recently got a new uh, fish finder, a Lowrance HDS Live 7 inch unit and it's quite the improvement from my previous Hummingbird Helix unit which was 5 inch. So here's the unit here. The issue that I had was that the transducer is just really huge. So take a look how big it is and how far it extends out from the bottom of the kayak. So I had to figure out a way to uh, load and unload the kayak without damaging or putting a lot of weight on the transducer. So I initially started off with two foam blocks and securing them with these uh, straps right here and I cut them to size and they worked okay but uh, I wanted to find a better solution so what I came up with is uh, this right here and this is a pair of two five foot long bunk boards um, they're weatherproof and carpeted so they slide in and out very easily and then on the back side put some two by fours three right here and then one vertically um, so that it can stay in place and I'll show you that in a little bit but uh, yeah this has been working pretty well and what I did was also coated it with some flex seal just to make it a little bit more weatherproof you know especially with the salt water sand dirt and all that so We'll see how that holds up. Let me go ahead and um, show you how I throw that on the truck bed and, and how I load the kayak. All right, so very simple. We're just going to slide this in. And then this part, the part that extends out, simply goes into this gap. And what's great about this is that, look, it's not gonna move front to back, right? Um, and I have also the option to slide it left to right, which is awesome. But for the most part, I'm gonna keep it centered. You can see it's in that little gap right there that's holding it in place. And I do have this Yakima alarm long arm extension um, this will help me put the kayak in place uh, when I'm loading and offloading and what's great about this is that as you can see there it's got four different height adjustments so pretty cool to be able to lift that back up in place after I've gone the kayak out so now that the, the loading system is in place Get this loaded, show you how simple and easy it is. So I'm just gonna place it right here just to get it in position. And let me just lower this head unit there you go it's all the way at the front and as you can see here plenty of clearance right there plenty plenty of clearance here and that's exactly 
my goal. Right there. So this is not scraping up or uh, applying all the pressure onto the transducer. All right, so from here, we're gonna do the, the tie down strapping. I recommend these NRS um, padded buckle straps. These have, are excellent. They come in multiple different sizes. I mainly use the uh, 12 foot strap and they do come in blue and black. I prefer the black, but uh, yeah, again, highly recommend these. And we'll start off with this first one here. And I like to run it right here. Nice and snug. You don't want to get those ratcheting ones because what happens is that a lot of times you over torque them and you end up damaging your kayak. So just want to make sure that they're pretty snug, but don't overdo it. And then we'll, we'll get on the other side. Same thing over here. Through this. Give it a nice little tug there. All right, then we're gonna run a strap over here. Here first. Through the handle. Through the other handle. straps two in the front one in the middle and then uh, if you want to be even more secure you can run another one back here oh another good great thing about this Yakima uh, bed extender is that there's strapping and tie down points right here so there's four different areas where you can tie down which is pretty comes in handy so usually I could just you know run it through the top one and then through this handle strap and then through the top one over here. Cinch it down. And there you go. I also this is pretty important. Uh, you're gonna wanna add a bright colored uh, towel or flag. Um, and usually I just clip it right here. I have it on a carabiner and I clip it right here on this back handle. Sometimes I just get paranoid. You just never know when uh, somebody might wanna take your stuff from your truck. So I've got a few of these master locks that I'll, I'll uh, attach to the kayak or additional gear that I might have in the truck bed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unload it uh, to show you how easy that is as well. All right, so this is how I unload the kayak. Get ready with my wheels. And then I wanna slide it out just right past where my wheels would go. And pop them in.
secure this pin so it locks into place. Simple as that, just pivot out, and there you go. Easy peasy. Alright guys, hopefully you found this to be helpful. Hopefully it gives you a great idea as far as uh, this loading system that I've created. Uh, so far it's been working out very well, especially for, for those of you that have a large transducer. I uh, highly recommend this. It slides in and out super easy. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. And I have this block and I'm not even starting to do it. Good. Do you want me to start this? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna start three, two, one.